Well, you've seen people on TV doing them and maybe even at your local swimming pool and now you want to do them. Yeah, the flip turn looks pretty cool, doesn't it? But as I'm sure many of you found out, they can be pretty tricky. So I'm here today to try and make them easier for you. I'm gonna be taking a look at the flip turn or the tumble turn as some parts of the world call it and breaking it down into a nice, simple step-by-step -step guide. Okay, very quickly, allow me to explain why we do the flip turn. I mean, what's wrong with the good old touch turn? Well, very simply, if done correctly, they are faster. They're also more efficient, again, if done correctly, but also, you look like a total badass. Now, if you're a triathlete watching this, you may well be thinking, well, really, do I need to do a flip turn? I swim open water. You're absolutely right. But learning to do the flip turn is certainly not a waste of time, in fact, the contrary. By doing the flip turn, it allows you to swim continuously, a little like in the open water, rather than that brief pause at the end of each length as you do when you're doing a touch turn, which also, in turn, can help to improve your endurance. But mostly, it just allows you to swim faster, which, at the end of the day, is what we all want to do, right? Right, now, for us to jump into the water, and time to show you how to do a flip turn. Okay, so the flip turn is essentially just a somersault in the water. So you want to get yourself into a nice small wall and roll over. Now initially, I want you just to forget the wall altogether because it often just complicates things as it affects your confidence because you're obviously just worried about hitting the wall. So simply practice doing somersaults in some open space in the pool, well away from the walls or lane ropes. To stop the water going up your nose, gently trickle air out through your nose. This doesn't need to be forceful, just enough to stop the water going in. Try to avoid falling to one side. Aim to roll everything over one another, meaning your bum follows your head and your feet follow your bum. As you build confidence, you can even have fun by doing multiple somersaults in one go. Okay, once you've nailed that, we're gonna do exactly the same thing again now, but we're gonna move in a little bit closer to the wall. We're still not going to touch the wall, but we're just gonna hopefully build up your confidence being nearer to it. Well, this is easy, isn't it? Now, you've probably guessed the next step already. Yeah, we're gonna move closer into the wall again. We're gonna do a somersault and then plant our feet on the wall. We're not going to swim in, we're not gonna swim away, just simply somersault, plant our feet. Initially, you will likely misjudge your distance from the wall. So this will take some trial and error and is absolutely fine. As a rough rule of thumb though, doing your somersault around one arm's length away from the wall tends to work well, or above or just beyond the T marker on the bottom of the swimming pool. Then aim to plant your feet somewhere between six to 12 inches below the surface of the water. Okay, nice one. We've pretty much done a flip turn now. Now it's just a case of putting it all together. Swimming in, doing the flip turn, planting our feet, and then pushing off. So, swim towards the wall, take your last freestyle stroke above or slightly after the tee. At this point, one hand should be heading back towards your hip, and the other is pulling you forwards towards the wall. At this point, start dipping your chin down into your chest and initiating that somersault. Now, a good way to describe this is as if you're reaching down for your toes with both hands. However, before you touch your toes, flip your feet over the water towards the wall. Again, remembering to hold that tight ball shape to make it easy as possible for you. And then plant your feet on the wall with a nice bend in your knees to absorb the momentum. Throughout this, your hands should remain in the same position and slowly come together into a nice streamlined position above your head. At this point, you will have probably realized that you're almost on your back. This is fine. Now push off the wall, maintaining that streamlined position and rotate onto your stomach whilst gliding. Woohoo, there we have it. 
that's the flip turn. Now, it's worth me pointing out that as you build up confidence, you may well find yourself being able to put a small, and I mean a very small twist into your actual flip turn to allow you to get over onto your front more seamlessly and more quickly. But I would add, this is just something that normally happens quite naturally and with time and with confidence. Now one thing we haven't discussed today is the part after the flip turn. Obviously we don't just glide off the wall so to maintain our momentum and get ourselves up to speed we want to put in a little bit of a dolphin kick or a leg kick underwater until we break to the surface. There we go, that is the flip turn. I'd love to hear from you guys as to how you get on with the flip turn so do get involved in the comments section just down below. If you've enjoyed today's video and found this useful please do give it a like and don't forget to give us a follow over on social media or if you're not doing so already please do give us a subscribe just down below.